So Amir Khan versus Luis Colazo will take place on the Mayweather Maidana undercard as chief support. Tough fight for Khan. Tough, tough fight for Khan. He may wish that he had taken the Kell Brook fight after this fight is done because I think there's the very real possibility that Luis Colazo not only beats Amir Khan but knocks him out badly and pretty much finishes his career. I think there's a very good chance of that happening. Luis Colazo is not a massive puncher, but from what I've seen of Amir Khan in his past few fights, his punch resistance seems completely shot to me. I'm not one of those people who believes that Khan always had a weak chin. I think if you look at the Marcos Maidana fight, he took a lot of good shots in that fight and stayed on his feet. Even before that 10th round, shots that would shots that have stopped and dropped previous Madonna opponents. Khan took them. Okay, remember all those uppercuts on the ropes way before the 10th round. And right hands he was getting caught with even in the first round. Those kind of shots dropped previous opponents. Like Victor Cayo. Like like uh, Victor Ortiz. Like Adrian Broner. Obviously that's after he fought Khan. So I thought Khan's chin was decent enough around the Maidana fight but the Danny Garcia knockout loss and yeah that was a bad knockout loss but remember that same shot that dropped Khan also dropped Eric Morales and no one was saying that Eric Morales had a weak chin okay so I think that Khan's chin was okay but since the Danny Garcia loss I've seen a in my opinion a big deterioration in his punch resistance and I believe that Luis Colazo has got more than enough power to hurt Amir Khan now I've said this before in previous videos but Amir Khan tends to do well against southpaws yeah that's something that he has he tends to do well against southpaws even in the amateurs when he fought people like uh, Mario Kindelan okay in the rematch against Kindelan even in the first fight he did well he's obviously sparred Manny Pacquiao a lot and he beat people like Zab Judah and Paul McCloskey and so you know he's he's got a good record against southpaws I'm sure there's another southpaw he's fought but I can't think off the top of my head but yeah he's got a good record against southpaws but Luis Colazo is not just a southpaw okay he's he's not like a Zab Judah or a um, Paul McCloskey who's going to stand off and try and box you I mean Luis Colazo can fight like that but very often he'll come right up to you he'll walk you down and it will force you to fight and we've seen that opponents before have given Khan trouble with that strategy and Luis Colazo is a big welterweight this is Khan's first fight at welterweight I don't believe he's going to be a strong welterweight Khan wasn't even a strong uh, junior welterweight and when I mean strong I'm talking about physical strength that's the one thing I've always felt Khan lacks even more than punch resistance which people talk about for me personally it's always been Khan's physical strength that was lacking because fighters are able to bully him and manhandle him once they get up on him he doesn't have the physical strength to body people off and Luis Colazo is a very physically strong guy he's a big guy and if he's coming forward and Khan's punches are not affecting him and hurting him I don't see how Khan is going to be able to keep the guy off you know I don't see how Khan's even going to be able to uh, going to be able to equip himself on the inside well enough to deal with Luis Colazo who's a very experienced fighter now Colazo has been hurt himself he has been down himself but again at 147 I'm not sure if Khan's got the power to do that and Khan has never been that good certainly not at world level at setting up his power punches I do believe that Khan's power is possibly a little bit underrated I don't think he's got amazing power or anything like that but I think he is possibly a bit underrated the problem with Khan is that he don't land with full force clean on the chin he tends to waste punches hitting gloves and shoulders and arms he doesn't seem to know how to set up those clean hard shots to land flush that seems to be the problem with Amir Khan in, in my opinion in terms of him not getting knockouts at world level so maybe he's learned more on the Virgil Hunter maybe he'll be able to set up his punches better maybe his physical strength will be better at 147 it's all possible I'm not saying it's not but I can only go by recent performances and what I know about the two fighters and in, in the recent performances I've seen 
based on the uh, Diaz fight, which was Kwan's last fight, and based on Luis Colazo's recent performances, I would pick Luis Colazo going into this fight. Okay. Now Khan, again, he does have tremendous speed. He may, if he, you know, the rest may have done him some good. We don't know. You know, it's it's, it's an open question. I'm not saying Amir Khan can't win this fight, but going on their recent performances, I would have to pick Luis Colazo, and I would pick him. Maybe not by knockout. I mean, I think a knockout is a distinct possibility, but I might be more tempted to to pick him on points for Khan to actually survive the fight you know barely <laughs> and either get stopped late or lose on points so that's what i would go for but drop your comments below and let me know how you feel about khan versus Colazo. and another thing i want to mention is khan is already still talking about the floyd fight and you know that's something that people think has been a banana skin for him throughout his career every time he starts talking about floyd fight right before he fights someone else he ends up losing that fight so it's not necessarily so much about Floyd but it's more to do with the fact that he's overlooking his opponent so could he be doing the same thing again a lot of people are saying he is and that he never learns who knows but drop your comments below and let me know how you feel this is Hatman I'm out